What's up guys, today I'm going to be taking the spindles out of my 370. My buddy Steve is going to be tilting and shortening them for me. So, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Showing cords on the stocks. Shit. You taking these out right here? Spindle. I believe I just gotta take this upper bolt off. Tie rod bolt, bag mount, um, caliper, and all that jazz down there. A rip. Perfecto, cuzzo. Got the wheel bearing out, or not the wheel bearing, the spindle out. There it is, gone. Oh, yeah. I just gotta pop the wheel bearing out. It's pretty, pretty easy, I guess, kinda. Did about an hour, but I was struggling on the, this back bolt. I'll see if I can get it. Right there and I didn't even need to take it out so wasted about a wasted about a half hour on that but time to do the other side rip all right we're back guys day two I was exhausted yesterday so I don't feel like doing the other side but yeah, same thing. Mm -hmm. Just passenger side. Hopefully it goes quick because it's freezing outside, as you see. Snow. No heater. But yeah. If you guys are wondering, my car is actually bagged. I'll show you my bag setup. Airlift 3P, installed it with my friend, pretty easy. Wish I would have recorded that, but oh well. Trust the process, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I still gotta get the wheel bearing out on this other spindle right here. As you can see. Yeah, it's stuck in there still. Oh yeah. Let's get to it. No cord on this side, thank god. The other side's really bad though. I think it's from, uh, cause when I first bagged it, I didn't get an alignment right away. So, I think that's what did it, for sure. Okay. Full handy dandy flashlight. Bam. Ooh, jiggly. Ah, 
Fenderliner shredded when I ran stock wheels. Riding low AF, you feel me? Just sizzled all that. But yeah, I'm gonna get cranking on this. I'm not gonna really film it because there's not really much to see. But yeah, I'll let you know when it's done or I'll give you an update halfway through. Got the, got the last spindle out. Pretty easy. There she is. Boom, gone. Now we're off to Steve's shop and I'll film him welding and shortening them, tilting them. I'll tell him to give you a rundown on how it works because I literally have no idea to be honest, but pretty sure I'm shorting them one inch and then he tilts them at like a couple degree angle. I don't know. I'm not sure. Not a welder. Don't know that kind of information. But yeah. I'll see you guys at his shop. Alright guys. It's like a week later. Sorry. It's super bright. I can barely see. But we're at Steve's shop. He's going to be shortening them 32 mil and then tilt them to 10 degrees. So hopefully that'll be like perfect for what I'm looking for. I'll have him explain like what he did and how he did it. I got some cinematics of it, but yeah. <laughs> Super zoom. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what we did here is we shortened and tilted these 370 spindles. This is the piece we took out. The first cut was straight, second cut was a 10 degree angle to get the 10 degree tilt and we got it within like 0.2 degrees, which if you're complaining about that, then sorry. <laughs> um, so I got that cut, then I ground and cleaned it, it's aluminum, I preheated it, tack welded it, and I got this handy dandy little level right here that I use to get the angle of that to get the angle of this is square so to get that angle that should be at about 90 or 80 point yep it is 9.9 um, this piece is square so what I do is I just square this up tilt that to where it needs to be place the level on like that and I tack weld it that's at 3.4 and it was at a 7.0, but 10.5 degree tilt or so. So, but uh, I'm gonna get these things welded and plated. Is that so they should be at negative 10 degrees camber, right? Should be negative 10, <laughs> yeah. Negative 10.5 if it reads perfect. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's the case. Decent. Come on. All right, guys. Last day. 
They're done, finally done. Here they are. Plate it on the back inside for extra strength, both of them. Shout out to Steve, he did a good job. Appreciate it. If you guys need anything modded or welded from him, hit him up. He'll get you with a good price for sure. And does really good work, highly recommended. So yeah, now I'm just gonna install them. I probably won't show what it looks like because I only have stock wheels right now and it won't really show anything really. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, that's gonna be the end of this video. Please let me know if you enjoyed because I'll do more, the whole process of my car. That was just stage one really. I plan to do a lot more. Got a new aero, color, camber, wheels, all of that coming to do. And I'd be happy to vlog it all for you guys. But just let me know in the comments what you thought of it. First time ever. I didn't think it was too bad, but yeah. Thanks for watching if you watch. See ya.